I'm blue, da da dee dum 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 ba dum dum dum. Revolution will not be televised, not be televised. There'll be no rerun, brothers and sisters. The revolution will be live. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly, Illmatic, stylistic, fish keeping fucking dogs who watch Aqua Funk Quad with me, Aqua Funk. Today I want to talk to you about a very special fish um, I recently acquired for my little uh, small, small, medium-sized South American um, tank. Um, that is the Blue Acaro. But before we get started, if you haven't subbed or um, hit that notification bell, please do so because I plan on getting you all kinds of species spotlights in the upcoming future. And watch the video to its entirety. Maybe you see a couple of um, gems that you might be able to take away that you might not have known before. So, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the electric blue Acara to be exact. Now, I got my little electric blue Acara uh, maybe about three weeks ago. And to be honest with you, I fell in love with this dude. Okay, I know it's a male because he's starting to develop long streamers. Um, if you're interested in getting electric blue car, let me tell you a little, little bit of something on how I keep them. I keep them in this 40 breeder with other cichlids that are going to grow about the same size, eat the same foods, which is, um, he's omnivorous, but he likes more of the meaty stuff. So you want to feed him, you know, plenty of protein with some veggie matter. Um, he's not picky at all. I keep my water at 82 degrees. Um, that's just me, but, uh, you can do anywhere, um, high 70, 80. It would be great. It would be great for this dude. Um, he Now, I've read in some places where they can grow up to seven inches long. I don't really uh, know if that's the if that's the case. I, I would say more of five inches in the home aquarium. And uh, he's pretty active. He don't cause no trouble. Um, you, they, they do do well in groups unless they're, they're spawning. But that's like any other cichlid. So if you wanted to get like a 55 with a couple of blue, blue cars in it, that'd be hot. Um, but he, he's, he's, he's a great fish. You pretty much can find these guys everywhere. Big box stores, um, your local mom and pops. And uh, I would definitely suggest getting them. Uh, what else can I say about them? They don't bother my plants. Um, that I, any plants that I put in there, they don't, they don't bother them. They will eat a smaller fish. They are considered semi-aggressive. But out there on the peaceful side of semi-aggressive, in my opinion, uh, a great breeding tank would be like if it was if it was me, and I wanted to breed these guys, a 40 breeder with a male and female, um, with driftwood because they do like the softer type of water. Um, they are a, they are a Amazonian fish. Um, they they do like the softer type of water, but um, being that they've bred in captivity for so long. Um, I haven't seen anybody have problems with pHs of seven, you know, 7.8. I, I really haven't seen nobody have a problem with them. Now, the cool thing I've learned about these guys doing my research is that they are related to the big old green shrimp. <gasps> They're in the same genus family, the Andoneo Acara, which encompasses actually a lot of different type of fish and, uh, and some of them haven't even been named yet, or unknown. So I think that's really cool. The blue car is actually a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Um, I've actually seen, it, when I first started real heavy in, in the um, aquarium hobby, was in, uh, the, in um, 2000, where I used to work at a pet store and we actually sold blue cars. Blue cars did not look like they, th these electric blue cars. In fact, I haven't seen a blue car in, since back in 2000, to be honest with you, because I guess these electric blue cars um, took over the scene. But I remember having fish come in, and sometimes the label on the bags would get um, wet, and uh, they would uh, fall off, and trying to figure out the difference between the green terror, the blue Okara, and the Jack Dempsey when they were little was difficult, because they all looked the same. Blue Okaras looked like a, the coloration like a baby Jack Dempsey. Now, how do they get electric blue cars? It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid from the blue Acara and a um, electric German blue ram. You're gonna have to excuse that noise. I am at a work site. I tried to wait till they stopped, but they seem to know what I'm doing. I'll hit you in a minute. 
All right, so I'm not at work anymore. It's actually later on in the day, picking up my old lady from work. And I've been thinking about that blue Acaro, that electric blue Acaro. Let me recap. So, and this is all my personal experience with the electric blue Acaro. I've done research on it. But, uh, you know, I think sometimes, you know, too much uh, mumbo jumbo turns people off. So let me tell you my personal um, opinion about the electric blue Acaro. I think it is probably one of the top three most best fish to keep. When I say best fish to keep, I'm talking about cichlids. If you want a cichlid, if you want something bigger than, you know, barbs or or guppies or mollies or something, you want something bigger, a little beefier, but you don't have the money for 125, 300 gallon tank, and you want a cichlid, you want some, you know, I think the blue car is in the top three. There's a couple other ones out there. Maybe I'll do a, you know, top five, but uh, it's it's very it's it's very peaceful. I know it's considered semi-aggressive, but it's very peaceful. Gets along with other fish as long as, um, you know, they can't eat them. If anything, it'd get beat up. Out of all the cichlids, medium-sized cichlids fish, I think that one would take a beating more than anything else from other fish. It's definitely something I would urge you to get. And, and let me tell you why. I'm, I'm going to tell you, if you're a first-time fish keeper and you want to know what's a great fish to keep for the first time, this is the one. And I'm going to tell you. Easy to feed. It has a wide variety of foods you can feed it. Very water tolerant. Beautiful, beautiful blue. You'll be very happy. People will come in your house and, and they'll be amazed by how blue it is. Very active. It's not a hiding fish. And very personable. And if later on, do you want to add fish down there? It's a possibility with this guy. So that's my personal opinion on the blue card. That's all for me. I want, to, I want to thank you for coming out. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your fish.